Now, a controversial storyline in Emmerdale is getting an awful lot of reaction. In scenes to be screened later on this month, viewers will see Laurel and Jay opting to terminate a pregnancy after finding out their unborn baby has Down syndrome. You might find this clip upsetting. But the information from the scan, combined with your age, could indicate that there's a higher than normal probability that baby may have a type of chromosomal syndrome. Down, uh, Down syndrome? Down syndrome is a possibility, yes. You said higher than normal probability. It's important you understand we're only talking degrees of likelihood here. At the moment, we can't be absolutely certain. Now, obviously, you don't have to have the test, but it's the only real way we can know for sure if the baby will be affected. Obviously, it's for you to decide how important that information might be to you. You mean whether or not I choose to then have a termination? Well, Charlotte Bellamy, who plays Laurel, joins me now. And Charlotte, obviously, you're a mum yourself. You know um, that obviously a lot of parents with Down syndrome children are concerned about this storyline. It's, it's, it's absolutely vital that you, you get this right, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, of course, it's going to cause huge debate and it's a, you know, a highly emotive subject. Um, but I think it's important to say that, you know, Emmerdale aren't making judgments. They're not taking sides. And we just urge people to watch all of these episodes before they make a judgment. That's true, because it hasn't been aired yet. It hasn't been aired yet. I do... I want to read out a, a letter we got last night from Tanya. Tanya, apologies, I can't read all of this out. Um, but Tanya says, I'm a mum of an incredible child with Down syndrome, one who, if I'd known in pregnancy, my ignorance and fear might well have driven me to make a decision to end my pregnancy. I'm grateful every day I did not have that opportunity because I'm grateful for my son every day. And she goes on to say, the community would like to know if people with Down syndrome have been considered in running this storyline because many of them watch the show due to being fans of a show that they are represented in, which is true. Um, and their mental health following this storyline is of huge concern to us. And she goes on to make an awful lot of very, very important points. But as you said, Charlotte, and you're an actress playing a part, um, it hasn't been aired yet. Do you think when it is aired that a lot of these concerns will be addressed? Well, I think, yeah, I mean, Emma Dale give a very balanced view. We have to remember that Leo is a character who has been in the show for 10 years. He's a, um, a Down syndrome, the Down syndrome son of um, Marlon and Rona. And, you know, that has been such a, a huge, a, a positive yes. story and continues to be in our show. Um, you know, of course, you know, with soaps are at their most potent, aren't they, Lorraine, when you deal with very, very difficult stories. And I think it's really important that, sh that soaps don't shy away from them. And it's going to be a tough one for you to do. You've said that the scenes have been really hard for, for all of you, um, because those sort of storylines are, you've got to put yourself in that place. And, and that's very tough. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with any issue-based story, Emmerdale are always so thorough with their research. And, you know, it was fundamental for me to speak to families that have been affected by this. And, and I have to say, it's been, you know, so humbling and very insightful for me and helpful, you know, so I can portray this as truthfully as I can. And can you, I just wonder, when you're doing a storyline like that, can you leave that at the door? Or just sometimes, you know, when you get home, it kind of stays with you, especially, you know, when you're right in the middle of it, you're learning the lines, you're thinking about the emotions and, and, and all of that. Can you, is it quite difficult to switch off? Well, I think as, as an actor, that's what you're trained to do. You, you have to compartmentalise things. So when I do come home, you know, I don't bring my work with me. I've got three children at home. You know, I'm, I'm a mum. Um, so, you know, that's, I, I, I have to switch off. Uh, of course you do. Otherwise, it would be too hard, wouldn't it? So much has happened to, to poor Laurel. She has had a really, really tough time. And you have been asked to do some really taxing scenes. She deserves a bit of happiness, doesn't she, Charlotte? Surely, maybe there'll be a little bit of happiness in the new year for her, hopefully. Well, with this story, you know, this continues um, and you see the effects of, you know, uh, uh, of, of their decision. And um, so I'm sure uh, it will carry on next year. And of course, you know, uh, for, for a long time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've had some pretty, pretty, Meaty stories, um, cot death, alcoholism, uh, obviously Ashley's dementia. Yeah. So, um, 
you know, each one of them comes with a responsibility, so. It really does, and that storyline that you both, and you know I've said this to you before, but that Alzheimer's storyline was incredible and so helpful. You know, it, it actually made people talk about something that's so, so important. And, you know, and Alzheimer's for far too long has been treated like this Cinderella illness. Um, and, it, and it made a huge difference. It made a huge impact. And I'm sure that's something that you're very proud of. Absolutely. And the single strand episode that uh, of Ashley's, you know, through the eyes of somebody with dementia is now used as a training video for yeah. a dementia society. So that that's amazing, isn't it? That, um, that we, you know that we have helped people and we continue to help people understand dementia. No, absolutely, absolutely. It's, it was a wonderful thing that you did. And what strange times we're living in, but actually a little bit of a glimmer of hope today. We've just been talking to Dr Hilary about the vaccine. So absolutely. hopefully, hopefully things might be getting back to whatever was normal. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, this lockdown ha doesn't feel quite as intense, does it? Because the children are at school yeah, yeah. and, um, you know, and obviously we're still working at Emmerdale. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so it does feel like there is a bit of normality. Yeah, which is good. It's what we're all, it's what we're all aiming for and what we're all looking for. And as you said, you've kept working all the way through it. Um, and it's been quite remarkable and quite, you know, the way that people have been so creative in allowing you to do your job. Yeah, I mean, and especially in, in, in you know the episodes that you, you will see, uh, there are sometimes there are scenes where you have to be close. So what they do is they do like something called um, a plate shot where you film one of you is sitting on the sofa and then it's sort of empty <laughs> next to you yeah. and you have to pretend that you're speaking to that person and then they film it the other way around and then they slice it together and it looks like you're sitting <laughs> together. So um, so there are lots of little sort of trickeries that um, that we use. No, absolutely. They've been using it. I was, I was hearing yesterday from Holby, they've been using tennis balls, you know, for, instead of people. <laughs> so they can, yeah. they have the plate shot so that they can talk to the tennis balls and they can do all of that. It's, it's incredible how creative people have been throughout this time so that we can still watch our shows. Thank you so, so much for joining us. It's always, always really good to talk to you. And you know this is going to spark a huge debate, but maybe that's no bad thing. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.